Shih Tzu vs. Yorkie, it's a difficult choice. When you're considering two breeds that are so similar, the decision can seem impossible. But don't worry, we are here to help you decide between the Yorkshire Terrier and the Shih Tzu. Welcome to our comparison between these two wonderful breeds. Both breeds belong to the AKC Toy Group, and are sized similarly. The Shih Tzu is the larger of the two, usually weighing in at 9 to 16 pounds. The Yorkie is smaller, rarely exceeding 7 or 8 pounds when full grown. Both the Shih Tzu and the Yorkie are common pets for many types of people, but are they right for you? Before I move on with the video, I want to ask you a simple question. Do you want to train your dog for any basic commands like sit and stay? Do you want to stop any of the behavioral problems of your dog like pooping inside the house, biting, jumping, or barking? If your answer is yes, please grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him or her. This secret training technique ebook is available for free only for a limited time. So go and grab it before it's too late. Link to the free ebook and training videos is in the description below. Which breed to choose? The simple truth is, there's no easy answer. There's no best breed between these two popular choices. The best option for you depends on a number of factors, including your personal preferences and your lifestyle. If you choose to follow the wisdom of the crowd, the more popular choice is the Yorkshire Terrier. Yorkies are currently in the top 10 most popular dog breeds, according to the American Kennel Club. Shih Tzus are also popular, coming in at around rank number 20. But of course, popularity is not everything. Care. Both of these breeds have continual coat growth that requires regular grooming. The Shih Tzu demands daily brushing and bathing once every three to four weeks. With some practice you should be able to handle the Shih Tzu's grooming needs on your own. The Yorkie is even more high maintenance. Yorkies require daily brushing and weekly bathing. Their coats can be tricky to handle, so many Yorkie owners end up seeking professional grooming help. Thankfully, both breeds are in frequent shedders, despite their long coats. Shedding is not much of a problem with either dog. Temperament. The Yorkshire Terrier has an affectionate, sprightly, and friendly temperament. They typically have a fairly friendly demeanor, particularly with people they know. The Shih Tzu has an affectionate, playful, and outgoing temperament. The Shih Tzu tends to be open to meeting new people, and should be friendly around most newcomers. Both dogs need to be socialized properly, ideally from a young age. This is particularly true if the dog will be around children. Training. When it comes to training, the Shih Tzu is definitely easier to train than the Yorkie. The Shih Tzu has an agreeable, eager to please attitude that makes them relatively easy to train. The Yorkie can be stubborn, you'll need generous reserves of time and patience to teach this little dog good manners and revisit lessons frequently throughout their life. Health. It's important to consider the health risks associated with each breed before making your decision. Both are relatively healthy breeds. The Shih Tzu has a life expectancy of 10 to 18 years, while the Yorkie should live for 11 to 15 years. The Yorkshire Terrier is a generally healthy breed, but you should check that the breeder has tested for luxating patella, eye anomalies, and knee issues. The Shih Tzu is also generally healthy, but are prone to a few more conditions than Yorkies. Breeders should test for hip dysplasia and patellar luxation, as well as eye anomalies. Shih Tzu vs Yorkie, which pet is right for me? Ultimately, only you can make the decision on whether a Shih Tzu or Yorkie is the right dog for you. You'll need to weigh the pros and cons of each breed. For instance, the Shih Tzu tends to be more prone to health problems, particularly eye-related issues, while the Yorkie is harder to train and may not do as well around children. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? 
Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel, Little Paws Training, if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.